Hey guys, it's yours truly, Music Clues here. Hey, subscribers, Deeth Ned here. Alright, and welcome to a brand new series we're starting here on the channel. Just a warning, warning, this video will probably be split into two parts more than likely. So if we're in different attire than we are right now, then just a heads up. Yep. But uh, welcome to a new series, Culture Capture. So at the end of each month, on the first day of each month, depending on when we get it. Yeah. Uh, we and Ethan will recap the previous month in terms of gaming news, anime news, and movie news. Yes. Uh, and um, then we will give our overall score for each, each, and our overall score for the month. Oh. Um, and this uh, today's episode is actually on a certain person's birthday. Not mine. Ethan. Yup, today's my birthday, folks. <laughs> so, be sure to say happy birthday to Ethan in the comments below. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, uh, anyways, continuing on. On, uh, we, uh, we are going to start off with video games. And sheesh, sheesh, do we have a lot to talk about. Uh, a lot of things happened with Nintendo this month. Uh, and the Smash and Pokemon Deluxe. Let's just say, <laughs> it didn't go over well with the fan base. Right. Uh, uh, and, um, yeah. So first things first, let's get these out of the way. Believe it or not, guys, we have five game delays. Yeah, you heard me. Five game delays. You tell them the first one, bud. Alright, so the first stone we have here was, unfortunately, will be Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's a delay until the original was going to come out around March 3rd, but now it's going to be delayed until April. Yep, yep. Now you're probably wondering, what does that mean for people who have the first, cla who have the first class edition pre-ordered, like Ethan here? Yep. Uh, why don't you tell them real quick, bud? Well, okay, so they're doing is they're going to charge you a different day instead around around February, probably late February. Yeah, I believe it's February 25th or 28th. Yeah, that is accurate, I say. So, but you have to do on your email, guys. You have to press, say, operate in once you get the email from Square Enix. Once you do that, your pre-orders won't be canceled. You'll be still good to go. If you don't do it before then, though... Or you don't press the button, or you don't know it's in a time. Your pre-order is out of here. So get it done. Uh, so get it done before then, because that's the day you're going to be charged. I would especially check your emails in this video right now if you haven't already. Yup. Uh. So yeah, it's delayed till April. Not a bad delay, but the other four Ugh. is not good. Well, the one game has a good exception, though. Yeah. Uh, so the next one was delayed was also from Square Enix, and that's uh, Marvel's Avengers. Now that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Now that one's actually a good delay. It's delayed till September, guys. Uh, it was originally coming out in March as well. Uh, no, it came. It's coming out in May. Oh, that's right. Scratch, scratch what I said. It's coming out in May. And honestly, from what we've seen gameplay wise, it kind of needed it. Yep. So, <laughs> a way to go Square Enix for delaying that one. That one's coming out in September. Yep. Unfortunately. <laughs> it has to be close to the PlayStation X, Series X, and PlayStation 5 launch, so have fun with that, guys. Yep. Uh, also, in addition to that, another most anticipated game, which we are both very shocked that got delayed. It will be Cyberpunk 2077. Yep. Uh, that one also got delayed to September. To mine any from surprise. Now there was a fourth game. I can't remember for the life of me what it was, but let me know in the comments below what game that was, guys. But I do know the fifth one. That would be Dying Light 2. Yup. And that one's also been delayed till the fall. Don't want to say September specifically because I don't remember when, but until the fall. So there you guys have it. Have it. One just delayed a month, and the other one's delayed to the fall. Yep, unfortunately. Kind of sad. Okay, now in terms of news from uh, Nintendo, we got a bit of it to talk about. 
So, for example, let's get this over with. The Pokemon. And Smash Direct. Yup. Okay, so the Pokemon Direct. Yikes. Uh, the fan base, let's just say, is a bit salty. It went, it went riot. Yeah, but it was ten times better than whatever po Pokemon, uh, the last Pokemon Direct was. <laughs> but it's still not his best, though, unfortunately. Yeah. So the first, f the, there was two things announced. The first thing announced was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team XD, a remake of Rescue Team, Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team for the Game Boy Advance, Blue Rescue Team, and the Nintendo DS, Red Rescue Team, respectively. No, wait, scratch that. Vice versa. Blue Rescue, uh, Red Rescue Team was the Game Boy Advance, and DS was Blue. Yep. Gotta keep that. But, uh, yeah, um, there's a demo out. It looks amazing so far. I am so excited to play it. Uh, I only have it pre-ordered. What? I'm a Mystery Ninja fan, okay? Sheesh. And then the second topic was... Well, let's just put it this way, guys. This one, this is my first expression when I found out. I mean, it's better than nothing, but... That's disappointing. That's come from me. Yeah. Uh, it's the Pokemon Sun Shield Expansion Pass. Uh, which is going to cost about $30 if you want to get both. 60 but, straight up. The problem is, the reason why I say so... Alright, I'll tell. Okay, so anyway, the reason why I say so, guys, is because... <sighs> Let's just say... You have to pay thirty bucks instead of instead of like you wait for the third game. But uh, let's just say let's say though instead of you you go wait for the third game just like you do with Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Black Two and White Two, and Pokemon Emerald. Those are the third game installments. So instead you get this instead. This this could count as a third game, but instead it's add on. So, the disappointment I have is definitely because how much we're being, I don't see a lot of information. Okay, the information, but... He needs more than that. Mm-hmm. Uh, for uh, the time being, I'm not interested. Me neither. Uh, but I'm still buying one of them. What? You thought I was going to get both? I'm not, I'm a dedicated Nintendo fan, but I can't afford two expansion paths in one year. I'll get Shield down the road. Well, well, but I'm getting Swords expansion pass because that's the one I beat, and so, yeah. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, personal, uh, personal opinion, yeah, it was a pretty bad directing. Woo! The same didn't take it pretty lightly. Now, if you're wondering why we think, you, why we both think that it's not a good thing, it's not because of the national decks. Just to make that clear, me and Ethan, e Ethan are not upset about the national decks. In fact, we're very mixed about the game. Yep. It's just that's a bit expensive for my liking. Yep. Um, but uh, yeah. So very mixed. Then we have the Smash Direct, which is both great but also slight face palm. Uh, uh, now, as you guys know, as of this video's recording, and our uh, last update video, um, Revlin, Evelyn, the main protagonist of Fire Emblem Three Houses, houses, yeah. houses, was announced to be the final Smash DLC character, in addition to our second expansion pass, which adds six more. Let's just say why I'm excited to have Revlin in Smash. I'm happy, too. Well, let's say bad news about the fan base. Yeah, they're pretty salty. I wish I could just uh, say something to them, but they would not like it. But honestly, I think I think even better selling than that for a rant video later. Yeah, no offense, but no picky. <laughs> Like I said, say, we'll save that one for a rant video later, because Ethan has a lot of thoughts about that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, but that's not uh, why I'm personally upset. Uh, why I'm personally upset, set just a little, I'm still very excited about Blevins and Smash, uh, is because, one, he has two, uh, Blevins has two moves, 
that are similar to other character characters that are already in Smash. Uh, his, you know, every character in the game has a recovery move that helps them get back under the stage if they get knocked off. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Sonic Spring or um, Ike's Eater. Yep. So that works as a risk and reward because, unfortunately, if you're not careful and you don't have a platinum a platform above you, <laughs> you're going to pretty much eat it to your death. Yeah, so is Crumb. <laughs> Very true. That as well. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, Ethan, uh, yeah, Ethan and I were kind of surprised, yet not surprised, that uh, he his uh, um, up recovery is... Uh, like Joker. Yeah. He has the uh, Sword of Creator. It has a, it's a sword lash, just like Ivy from Soul Calibur. Uh, but the problem is, he becomes the same way Joker does. Yup. Which, uh, in case you didn't know, Joker has a hook as his recovery move. Yup. So, or zip lash, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but, yeah. The second move that's similar is... The bone arrow. Uh, but it's not very similar to Link. Because Link's, you can hold and charge. Without, you can cancel it quick. But with this one... You can do it, but you can actually shoot it immediately if you want to shoot rapidly. But if you want to like hold in until the rest of all the way through, you have no choice. You have to let it go no matter what. Exactly. So it's not similar to Link. My head cannon personally is because Blevlin mainly uses a sword in the game. He's not. I mean, you could train him to use an arrow, but that's not what the head cannon is here. So my my guess is Bluffin is more of a just this Bluffin's just more of a sword wielder wielder character, so he's not that very good with an arrow. Arrow, which is makes sense. And Link's had plenty of experience with an arrow over the years. Yeah, you see, with him, it makes sense because he's a professor of the of the game, and he can teach almost every student in the game to use different weapons classes. Actually, that sound looks legit. And. Exactly, exactly. I mean, you could train him yourself too, but I'm more than positive a lot of people would prefer to use an axe or a sword. Ew, I haven't really seen many people do it for the walkthrough, so I'm kind of surprised, but not surprised. Uh, but Link, he just has more experience in general because even with the Master Sword, he's had plenty of experience using the bow and arrow over the years. Heck, there's even a game dedicated to su such a thing, so yeah. <laughs> Um, but that's my personal head candy. That's why I'm a little disappointed that he has two moves. Other than that, though, he's good. He's to me, to me, I'm really 100% happy about it. Yeah, of course you would be fireable, nerd. <laughs> but I'm going to give you a little slack because it's your birthday. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that is, that is mainly why. Again, we'll save a whole... Matt, Ash, and Fireball rant for later. Although I do kind of wish they chose one of the free houses leaders. Like, for example, Dimitri, or even the Edelgard. God. Yep. Now, that would have been cool. Yeah. Uh, Black Eagles are better than Blue Lions. Just saying. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Don't get to a competition in this channel. Yeah, like that. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, in terms of other stuff, we have this, uh, Nint uh, Nintendo's actually done very good this month in terms of sales. They released a financial report, and real quick, Nintendo's outsold the Super NES. Yes, the Switch has officially outsold the Super NES. I'm not surprised, but I'm also very. Yup. So, yeah. That's pretty amazing if you ask me. Oh, yeah. Um, but, the next, uh, the next thing, next thing, uh, but, uh, yeah. So, in case you didn't know what its previous outsold, the Wii U, not surprising, given the sales numbers for that one. Uh, the GameCube, also not surprising, although it is a popular system. And, shocker to me and Ethan, the N64! Yo. So, the next system it has to beat is, uh... The Game Boy Advanced. Yep. And then it has to be the uh, Nintendo 3DS, which I can totally see happening. Uh, then it has to be the original Game Boy. Then the Wii. Oh, wait. No, scratch that. Uh, the Wii, the original Game Boy, 
And then finally, the Nintendo DS. Which is a pretty tall order, because it's currently at, sits at 54 million. If it could be Tender Wii, then you can oh, basically... Say, oh, hold on a second. Did I say 54? I meant 154 million. Mm-hmm. Oh, what'd you say? Yeah, I said if, if a Tender Switch can outsell the, the Tender Wii, this could become our old, the best, best selling old time of Tendo Home Console. And if it outbeats the 3DS... It will officially be the best-selling Nintendo console of all time. Which, uh, for Nintendo. Yeah, which is a fleet in itself because, whoo, the DS was popular. Can the Switch out be in it? We'll see. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Now, Final Fleet House is actually doing pretty decently, too. Sitting at uh, uh, 2 million at the moment. Yup. Luigi's Mansion is a little higher at uh, 5 million. Yup. Uh, Mario Kart 8, still the champion. Yep. Epion at 18 million. That's crazy. That's just amazing. Ayson, you would think that by this point, Smash would have outsold it. Yup, for sure. Uh, and then, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, 5 million as well. That's, that's crazy. That's just no, no. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot justify a point being not good. I'm nope. sorry. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so that is the sales number so far for this year. But, except for one certain RPG series. So, That'll be Exuberant Chronicles 2. Sadly, is no longer on the chart. Guess you could say that if, it's, if that's the case, that means it didn't do enough for the series. Well, here's, hope the, here's hoping the Definitive Edition does good. Yeah, we'll see. Which, by the way, please do not release in May, guys. I got enough, enough coming up. <laughs> uh, my wallet could use a little bit of a breather after April. <laughs> I'm not lying. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, gotta say, say Microsoft had a couple good games as well. Got Sword on Light Fell Bullet coming to Game Pass, as well as Tekken 7, and shockingly, Grand Theft Auto 5. Yup. Uh, now, I haven't played a, a, too much of the game yet, but. Nope. <laughs> not clicking. Sorry. If for those who like it, okay, but not clicking with me. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not that type of person that likes gangster stuff. I mean, I hate Team Skull for that. Uh, Team Skull's music for that reason. No offense. Either Foundation's better. Uh, but yeah. Um, let me see. Hmm. Oh, the recent game we just played during that th last month is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We'll have probably a full video on that later on after that, after we're done with the One Piece bet. But quick impressions, it is the best game I have ever played in the history of the Dragon Ball series. Yup, for me, definitely got to be the best the Dragon Ball game I've played in history. And I know you're like, wait, what? Are you serious? Well, it's our, our turn to be cheese, so of course... Not only because of that, there's a little mechanics in the game are a little more unique than the rest of the other Dragon Ball games I play. There is Dragon Ball Fighter Z, but I don't count that because it's a different genre. Yeah, totally. Uh, but definitely one of the best Dragon Ball games, adventure games at least, today. If you haven't played it, well, what are you sitting here for? Go play it. <laughs> uh, it's available on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Mm -hmm. um, now, in turn. Now, uh, overall, for the gaming month, I would probably give it... What would you give the rating, bud? I would say... 7 out of 10. Uh, I'll give it 8.5. Now, um, if we were doing... Now, if we had movie news, we would talk about it, but there was really only one major movie announcement that really happened. And that would just happen to be... Tell them what Disney movie is getting me made next. It would be the classic Bambi. I don't mind them touching classics, but why Bambi? Well, well, I think that's the director's choice. 
So this is the same creator as as uh the, Make of Lion King and Jungle Book, I believe. Yes. So I hate to say it, but it's gonna be R.I.P. or all of the the Lion King. Hopefully not, but that's uh, my prediction. I'm skeptical to believe that. Now let's hope they don't touch. Uh, if they do touch Trisha Pettit, they do it justice. Cause I haven't seen the movie, but even skeptical about it. Ah, oh, please! If if they actually do it, I'll be like, no, my childhood is ruined. Easy. Wait till you see the movie. If it does get remade, then you can say it's ruined. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so well, not gonna really give a rating for that one because that was the really only big piece of news. Uh, but in terms of anime. Got some good ones. Oh, yeah. So, um, obviously, My Hero Academia is going good, according to Ethan, at least. Yeah, so let's just say there is a one specific episode that My Hero Academia, the fourth season, it is going to have a new arc. But, I'm going to say this, though. In that, in that one specific episode, there was a one fight when Deku was in. It was GOAT. Which, which means very good. So, just a warning. Uh, now, real quick update. Ethan just finished the Puck Hazard arc. Guess what? Uh, you want, uh, I'll let you pause here and take a guess of what he thinks. Okay, you done? All right. Puck Help. Hazard? Yep. Is it for... Okay. All right, so for this one, uh, I was mixed from the beginning... And then towards the end, there were some epic fights. But then overall, I hate to say it, it's the second worst arc I see in One Piece. That's right. All right, for those who guessed the middle of Thumbs Up, you clearly haven't been paying attention, have you? <laughs> if you guessed Thumbs Down, because you hate it as well, you guessed right. You have him fast. <laughs> but yeah, Ethan's not a big fan of it. This currently makes two bad arcs, two mixed arcs, which by the way are mixed and negative, uh, and three good arcs. That's yep. it. Yup. Uh, so, so far, it's looking like my classic One Piece is a lot better than Ethan's Modern. Which is sad because that usually is the case with these long standing animes. The only one that's come out unscathed really is Dragon Ball. That's unfortunate. Out of the three Sin Jump ones uh, One Piece, Naruto, and Dragon Ball, because you've seen the reaction to Naruto, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, so honestly, I do, th do think. I do think that uh, there is going to be more to, to it later, but Ethan's got a pretty big arc coming up, which means, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, buddy, why don't you let him know? What are my numbers? Oh, the, but before that, take a guess in the comments below who is currently leading. Is it Team Music Clues? Uh, Mr. Anime, we, I, I mean, Ethan. Okay. Okay, take a guess. All right, guesses. Uh, time is up. Oh, who? Uh, who? Uh, what? Uh, how many episodes do I have? All right. So for his numbers, he's got left. It's gonna be huge. So get ready. That number he's got so far would be two hundred and fourteen episodes left. Yep. So I got a little bit more to go. As for Ethan. Alright, so let's just say this one right here will put you in the mouth drop. And this one I got is 144 episodes left. Yep, Ethan's pulled ahead. But like I was saying earlier, Ethan's got one big arc coming up. Which is close to the end of the, the end of the, like, old still latest, so, uh, yeah, so which means... You, if you were rooting for MC here to win, cross your fingers. Ho hopefully for you guys, the arc of the latest one will be finished before I finished it. If it doesn't, he has a bad chance. If it does, though, but I'm crossing my fingers here. Uh, yeah, let's hope so. Because right now, <laughs> 
I need, can I need a lead? Like soon here? Yeah. Well, otherwise Ethan's gonna catch up. Uh, yeah, otherwise I'll never catch up to him. Mm-hmm. <sighs> once I'm done, once you leave to, uh, later, buddy, I'm gonna kick your butt. All right. So, overall for the anime month, I would probably say, personally, 8 out of 10. Oh, for me, for uh, anime in general? Yep. Oh, we forgot to discuss another thing, guys. Let's say there's a latest new anime that came out in the, the, the last month, in 2020. It was called Pumaneer, I remember. That anime, I saw my expression for the first episode. Wow. It looks good so far. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, Ethan's got a new wife, Ethan. What is it? For those who don't know, <laughs> Ethan, out of the two of us, if you're new to the channel, I have the most wifey foos in any video, uh, out of any Go Gamer member. However, <laughs> Ethan's slowly building his collection. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So I'm not gonna be the only one with a wife. Uh, uh, so I don't every ch chance he gets, he's mentioned he has a new character, character that he has a crush on. And I tease him about it. Just <laughs> <laughs> get me on it. Uh, anyways, so what's your anime rating, bud? For that one, I would have to say eight point five out of ten. All right. So overall for this whole month. What do you think, bud? Oh, we forgot about talking about the, the movies. Oh. You know, for Sonic and Biodemia. Oh, that's right. So, uh, we're going to get to that after we give all of our ratings. Uh-huh. That's for the predictions. Right. Okay. So, overall, for this uh, past month of January, I think we could both agree, uh, more seven, maybe. Right. Uh, the month was decent. We have some good stuff. Yeah, some bad stuff, and unfortunately, the fan base controversies in the video game community kind of yeah went down the road. Yeah, pretty much. So we'll see. So predictions for February. First of all, predictions for the Sonic movie. Movie. I feel, in my personal opinion, and this could be the Nickelodeon bias working, uh, uh, but I personally think it's going to be an eight or a seven for me. Neon Sonic movie. Okay. Uh, but that's a prediction. I'm not saying I haven't seen I have seen yet. I wish I had, but that's my personal opinion. As for you, Ethan? Uh, my Academia movie, The Heroes Rising. You know, I'm gonna bet you. I hope it's gonna be good. But I'm gonna blow it down the number just in case. I'll say eight out of ten because Yeah, I saw it in the trailer. There was a good amount of good Scenes I saw in the trailers, so I'm gonna say eight out of ten because you never know. I could go a little sad about it, but please keep me going on this movie. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, as for any other predictions, Nintendo Direct, hopefully soon. Them fans are chopping at the bit. Yep. Uh, and hopefully Sony reveals the PlayStation Five soon. We right. need to know that exclusivity lineup so me and Ethan can know whether we need to buy it with this one later, 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 or whether we can wait for the slim model. Because right. we're not going to buy it straight up from the sounds of it, sounds of what we've heard rumor wise. Right. Because rumor wise, so far, the lineup looks. No thanks. I'd rather buy an Xbox One Series X. Right. You're going to have to convince me to change my mind. Of <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's all for this month. Uh, my aunt's, uh, culture capture. We'll see you at the at, uh, beginning of March, or hopefully sometime at, uh, near the beginning of March, for February's recap. Yep. Uh, we will have, also, we'll probably get our, get our One Piece bet done sooner, because once March comes around, it's gaming season plus. So, yeah. Uh, we will have a video, hopefully around that time, too, for One Piece. Recapping what we think about the whole anime. Right. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, and, of course, me and Ethan 
Um, when we go see the science movie, after we're done, we will record videos of our reactions. But I can tell you right now, one year at a time, if we're, if we're going to be salty about it, I would dodge them like the plague. If you want to watch them, okay, but just a warning, there could be a couple spoilers in there. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Yep. All right. That's all for now. This is just truly. Music clues. Ethan, signing out. And have a nice gaming day. Alpha Team Music clues. Go, Ethan, for the win. For the win. Yeah. All right, see ya.